How you doing, everybody? This is Mike. And I'm Tawanda. doing this is Mike and I'm Tawanda and welcome to the black love conquers black love wins yes um because this is our first episode let's go through our marriage let's talk about how we met briefly and to where we are now wow okay you don't want to do that how yeah, I yeah, yeah, yeah. pulled you over yeah, 21 yeah. years ago Okay, she was five old back then, right? And um, I was just minding my business. I was a street dude back then, and um, I was I was going inside the store to buy me some chips and a soda, and um, so I was coming out, and her and this Caucasian cop um, see me, and um, she pulled me over. And, Actually, um, hold up, let me, cause you you're not remembering it as well. I saw you well, first. I'm I saw you first when I was on a footbeat at Georgia and Park. Well, I didn't see you. Yes, you did. You had the Z. You stopped. We we caught eyes. Remember, you said you thought I was somebody's niece. Right. Ooh. Right. Okay, Mr. Cradle. All Let right. me take off my. Oh, no, no, I keep it on. But um, then I saw you at the as you was going into the store, and as you was about to walk in, I asked you for your driver's license and registration. You remember that one? Okay. I knew I hadn't done nothing, though. Yeah, you was outside the car. <laughs> and then what happened? And then I went and got my chips and my soda, and I came back out. And you gave me your number and a flyer. Yeah, because um, we was having a party next week. Right. And I just bought some new shoes. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so I know why you mentioned the shoes. Yeah. Anyway, we so I came that. to the cabaret. And tell them what happened. Be honest. I am. What happened? Hey, look, fellas, y'all know how new shoes do, right? I'm put my ear on. And Ooh. back then, my shoes wasn't real, real leather, but the real leather look, so I had them <laughs> on, right? right? Whatever, I had them on. Go ahead, go ahead. And I was looking good then. I'm not All right. I'm so not I had them on, and they would drive tight on my feet, so... I had to sit down a lot. Okay, the reason why you're telling that part. She claims. The reason I he's was telling that part is she because. She being her on some light skinned dude. It was a radio guy. He was working for WPGC at the time. He was flirting with me, giving me his number, but every time he tried to come over there by me, I didn't see somebody that. My all of a sudden tried, had to sit down because your feet was hurting. Yeah, I had no uh, shoes on. Anyway, Fellas, so they let him know fit. that he was Stand trying to get with it. me. Tap anyway, me. so then what happened? Anyway, 21 years later, because we dated for only a year. Did we even date? I don't even think it was a date. I think we just, we were good friends. You would yes, call sir. me, because that's when you had a one-way, and your little girlfriends were, were, were interrupted. 
collect calls from such and such. I and wish we can go back to them days. <laughs> well, one way, yes. we collect call. I mean, a uh, breakthrough, and then here we are, 21 years later. Mm. We ain't even we ain't get engaged. I told you, look, you marry me or I'm out, and we got married. Well, she actually gave me an ultimatum. She was a cop back then, and she had a gun on her hip at the time, right? <laughs> So Ladies, she said, oh, I wasn't shacking so, up with nobody. So she said, if you marry, hold on. If you marry me or you get no. <laughs> no, I didn't. I said, I'm not shacking up with nobody. Either you marry me or we break up. Ain't nobody. I was what, 29? <laughs> it was time to get married. And look at you. Look at you. 20 years later. And stuck. here we are. You're not, you stuck. What's yeah. the best part of our match? When I go to sleep. Oh, this Bama got <laughs> jokes. This Bama got jokes. <laughs> okay, what's the worst part <laughs> when you wake up? See, tell God, you, okay, you keep playing with God. You won't be waking up. Stop playing. Now, come on. What's the best part of the match? Other than you having a son. Be real. Come on, be serious. Stop playing all the time. I, I calm down. I got you. Okay. The best part of my marriage, I got somebody to grow old with that. To grow old with? Yeah, Damn, yeah. I look like I'm getting old, but go ahead. Yeah, old or die. Um, <laughs> go that ahead. I don't mind growing old with. Okay. Right. Now ask me. Ask me. Ask me. Ask me. Okay, what's the best part of our marriage? Probably when you go to work, say, now. Nah. The best part of... <laughs> I'll merge. I will honestly say having someone that can deal with my all of y'all. Yeah. <laughs> this baby got you. My moody ways mm. and, and and she's a Libra. So you know how Libras are. It's more than one of them in there. That ain't no Libra thing. That's just me, but Libras are moody. No, really. Real I think talk. I murder gang sometimes, <laughs> man. You sure you should drive the bus or should you be a damn comedian? Oh, uh, all right, I think the best part of the marriage, for real talk, is having some, someone that understands me. And mm. even when I am a little moody. Cool, cool. Okay, you, can, you don't really trip off of it. And the fact that I've had, I know they, they might watch it one day and be like, what? I've had some, I ain't going to say trash to treasure, but I've had some. You can say that. I've had some that I wasn't fond of and. You know, like I told you all the way, you're the first person that I've drove, uh, first guy that I drove um, in my car. Like, I feel comfortable driving with you on the passenger side. So, right then and there. Uh, now, okay. what's the worst part? When all of y'all gang up on me. <laughs> and I don't Ooh. know who to address my issues to. <laughs> That's the worst Ooh, part. This baby got jokes. Uh, That's I, real I, talk. Okay. All My right. worst part is when you don't talk. Like, we have a good marriage, but I think your nonchalant ways. I think in a marriage. I got that from my daddy. Uh, yeah, well, I need to learn some stuff from your mom. I always said that. Yes. Uh, cool. Do that. Uh, um, we can call okay. up right now. What? Why do you think that our marriage was able to sustain this long? You want the truth or the TV version? Yeah, but no. There you go. Just uh, tell the truth. Okay, because... They need to know what, what kept our marriage um, right. for 20 years. I listen to 50% of what you say. But you do 100%. But go ahead. No. I do what I think is going to keep me calm and keep you quiet. <laughs> Wait, do, do it work? Most of the time. <laughs> okay. Why do you think? Let me, ask, let me tell you why I think our marriage works. Because God is in it and people is out. Oh, most definitely. Yeah, but then you should have said that part. I think the reason is Well, so you got your mind and I got mine. <sighs> and that was on my mind at okay, the time. I think, well, for uh, me, I think it works because we keep people out. Even when we have our ups and downs and our problems, 
We don't tell the kids. We don't tell. I don't call. When you get on my nerves, I don't call no girlfriends. I don't call no friends. I don't call anybody. Well, you ain't got no friends. <laughs> Just bad. Can you get <laughs> you, why, you, why, you why I did. But well, no, what like I you. have learned, I well, don't care like about you. that. What I have learned to do is when, you, when I'm mad at you and you know it, I talk about you to you. No, you talk at me. No, I'm saying when I'm mad at you. Yeah. When I need somebody to talk about you too, I talk to you. Right or wrong? In an at me type of way. Right, because I'm mad at you. And that's when no, I don't listen, listen to you. When I'm mad at you and I have nobody to talk about you to, then I talk at you as if you are not the person that I'm talking about. Why? Wow. Because I can't let nobody know what's going on. They're going to hear it anyway. Huh, nobody knows our business. I'm talking about when I'm mad at you. When we're, we, we're in the house and we're mad and I can't pick up the phone. I don't have no girlfriends that I would pick up the phone and talk about you to. Or you no family. You call the girls. I don't. That's different. That, that ain't no real talking about you. That's just, oh, something you dumb. Mm. Like when, we, we, when we're lost somewhere, instead of you asking for directions, you know, I have to be the one to ask, and then it makes you mad. So I have well, to see, tell them. that's a man them, thing. Ain't no man thing, but then yeah, I have yeah. somebody to, to, I have see, to call my daughters. men and women are built different. We're no kidding, we, Sherlock. We have different mechanisms in us that makes us tick. We don't like to be. Vulnerable? vulnerable? No, no. I, I won't say vulnerable. Overmanned. By, by some asking up. for directions? Yeah, or let us find out. Yeah, we be lo- That's why we're always don't late. Child, please. <laughs> That's why we're always late. Because you don't want to ask for directions. Are we allowed to curse on here? <laughs> no, don't you dare curse. <laughs> uh, Deacon Cradle, no. You, 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 you would sit up there and go around the block 10 or 15 times. It don't be 10 or 15 of, times. But just ask for directions so we can get there. I know where we going. If but you let me get there. there, we are. Oh, my goodness. We're going to get there. Woo. That's one of the things that I merge. Like, Mike, just stop and ask for direction. Ask somebody, hey, can you da 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 direct me? To no. I do sometimes. Uh, No, you don't. I do sometimes. No, you don't. I'm always I the one that's sometimes. getting out the car. Now, excuse me, sir. Excuse me, ma'am. Right or wrong. So, so you saying I never ask nobody. How to get Most somewhere. of the time, I'm asking for directions if we're lost. That ain't what I asked you. What? <laughs> What's your question? You saying I've never asked. I didn't say never. I said most of the time. Yes, you did. Okay, you were asked once in a blue moon, but on a real tip. It don't matter. I always be the one. Just like Mucci say, I'm the oper- you're the head of the house, but I'm the operation of the house. Right or wrong? Goodness, have mercy. About that one. Child, who puts everything together as far as the events or what we're going to do and things like that? That's what keeps the marriage. I'll let you do that. You let me. Oh, boy, you're taking us back to the 50s or 40s. You let me. I would say, you're, <laughs> as far as the head of the house, you're good with that. You're good with that. And I, I give you your, your you know accolades for that. But as far as the operations of the house, that's me. Well, see, that's why you are a stay-at-home mom. I'm not see, no damn stay-at-home That's mom. your job to take care of the house. <laughs> um, while, an entrepreneur is not a stay-at-home mom. So what are you doing that? Huh? Move over, Bam. What are you doing that? I'm saying a stay-at-home mom to me is somebody that have no income coming in. That's not a stay-at-home mom. Well, that's my interpretation. A stay-at-home mom is a mother that stays home to raise your kids. My son is grown now. I did that. Right. I left the police department to raise, your kids to raise him because I didn't want him to be a nobody's And to take care kid. of the house while the man goes out, make the money, make sure. Women going to be cussing you re- out on this part. Them. <laughs> that should be happy. <laughs> Go ahead. And make sure it's a roof over your head, Thank clothes God. on your back, food in your belly. We are the providers for y'all. That's the way it's supposed to be. Okay, Pastor Cradle. No. Okay, go ahead. I'm you still saying. might. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm being saying from what you, your father would say. Okay. That's it. But, so, when 
as a black entrepreneur woman, entrepreneur, where do my money go? Hell, I know I don't see it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's real. You don't see my money. Are you serious? I mean, I keep a... No. Yeah. <laughs> Go, woo, cut that ball. No, my I know you keep a stash. <laughs> That's right. I see you going inside the closet sometimes. <laughs> Damn, you gonna let somebody break it out? Go straight for the closet. No. Don't know which closet. No, no. Seriously, I do contribute to the house. Right or wrong? Yes. Yeah. It's giving me problems. Yeah, but doing your part. As far as my money, though, Michael Cradle. I, okay. None of my money come in the house. Hold on. We want, you sure we won't make it to 25? <laughs> Damn. No, what I would say in reference to, yeah, you do, you're a good provider. That's why I left my job because I knew you was going to provide. Thank you, Jesus. And because I didn't want my son to be in nobody's daycare or anything. I did that before. Didn't want him as a young black man. Um, but I will say, me selling my products. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. I do contribute to the household. Now okay. I might get, and I would say you didn't. If I if I just example if I sell something for twenty dollars, I might keep fifteen, but I'm I'm gonna give you that five. Yeah, no I'm not. Right. Yeah, okay. But you know, okay. my mother always said well, people I hear people say, um, you know, marriage is good and I'm praying that we, you know, it lasts forever, but in case you decide one day to, you know, go through your changes and leave me, you never leave me high and dry. <laughs> so you saying you got a plan B? No, I'm not a plan in B. Case I roll I'm just out. saying in case. The so I gotta start saving up. What you got? What? Mm. No, I don't have a plan B. I just I have a uh, emergency fund for the family. That's uh, what we call it. Oh uh, well, I got one too. Hey, hey, I come on, easy. keep it going. Um. Let me ask you something. Why do you think? Why do you think our marriage, even though we've seen so many people get married before us and after us, and you know they end up getting divorced, we got family members on their second, third, fourth marriage. Um, what is it about this marriage that keeps it strong? Like real, real talk. What keeps our marriage strong, okay. other than the, the humor part in it? Okay, one we keep God first in it. Okay. And and I was taught that by my mom and pops. You know, you you um you keep God first in everything you do. And um and the rest will fall in place. Okay. Okay. Real talk. And we have a lot of fun most of the time. Most of the time. I say. 85% of the time, you know, um, well, we have a lot of fun. So what happens the other time? I'm dealing with a gang. <laughs> <laughs> Would you stop saying I have a gang of people in my head? You Libra. Y'all got gangs. You are offending so many Libras out there. I don't care. I just married one. <laughs> well, Where's all one <laughs> here. Physically one, <laughs> but mentally, there's a whole heap of y'all. I don't know who to argue with sometimes. Oh my goodness. I can I can admit that I'm moody. I can admit that I'm I'm moody, but once I say what I have to say, I crack a joke and we back cool. Your thing is if we are if we disagree and I go downstairs and come back up and crack a joke or hug you, you still mad. No. I done got over it. No. What you do <laughs> is we argue upstairs. Y'all go downstairs, <laughs> then, then somebody else come back upstairs and repeat the same dog on thing, and I don't want to hear it no more. But I crack a joke, and then I'm thinking, okay, we cool now. I'm not holding grudges. I say what I got to say. I don't hold grudges. I just need time to calm down but by off time of that jump. Down the steps, that, why do you keep saying we jump you? Yeah. I need to calm back down over that jump. See, you calm down differently than me. Because <laughs> I got them in control. <laughs> no, but I, I, I understand. And, you know, I don't trip, but you eventually give in. You give in. You do. You do. Um, 
if you look at the people merge, everybody you know, whether family or celebrities, who, if you had to mimic somebody's merge, whose will it be? My parents. My parents. Why? I like the way moms love my pops and show love to him. And I like the way pops protects her. Yes. And make sure everything is fine. Does he do protect her? <laughs> Especially right. now. <laughs> yeah, because, you know, yeah. you got that side arm down and everything. Right. And you, yeah. You're right. Their marriage, I would say, yeah, their marriage. And then I think your sister and brother-in-law, their marriage. Yeah. Real. Yeah, because yeah. they entrepreneurs and, you know, they got a strong marriage because they work together all day. And then they mm. go home together. Mm. Ooh. Mm. Shout out to Nikki and mm, Ray Kimball. Yes. Cause, oh, woo. Ooh, doggy. Just when you're in there sewing and I come in there and I'm doing my stuff and mm. you got the music on. I like the TV on mm. when I'm creating and, whew. I like to sleep in the dog. You want the dog on TV on? Yeah, because. Why? Because I And always, then you complain about the bill. Because, yeah, because y'all leave y'all cell phones on, y'all. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and what about your TV at night time? That's different. I need the TV light because when I wake up in the middle of the night, I like the TV on. They have night lights? Oh. Your um, cell phone got a light? <laughs> no. Oh, my goodness. Let's not talk about some of the things y'all leave on. You go in one room, leave the light on, then go in another room and leave the light on, then go downstairs and leave the light on. Let me ask you this. If you have to change... Anything about yourself to please me? Ooh, to please you. What would you change? Mm, probably nothing. Mm, no, there's nothing wrong with me. Okay, time to go. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm probably, because, no, 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 let me finish talking. Because I like, the, okay, I was taught clean as you go type stuff. Clean, if you're cooking, clean as you go. You like to cook and then feel because you cook, you ain't got to clean. So, well, I, my nagging if problem. If I cook and clean, what am I going to eat? After you finish cleaning. Oh, that's why you should cook then my and food clean be as cold. you go. Then my food going to be cold. Okay, you, you asked me a question. See. Hold on, let me answer your question, Mr. Cradle. I would say. I didn't even forgot what it was, man. If I had to change something about me. It would probably be about me complaining. Sometimes I compl I feel myself complaining a lot, but sometimes I do it just to irritate people. Why? I don't know. In my head, I like having fun. See? Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, but I would say me it's complaining, especially like, um, you know, if you just cook, then that frying pan still right there, and maybe I don't give you a chance to go upstairs and eat. And then come back down exactly. and then wash it. Then by the time you go upstairs and eat, you might fall asleep. And then the frying pan is still on the stove. So, But I would say my complaining. Okay. Now, what would you change? You're complaining. Oh, my goodness. How about your nonchalant ways? Or if I say, Mike, come on, you want to go here? We'll see. Mike, you want to do that? We'll see. Mike, you did you do that? Mm-hmm. I get around to There's it. There's nothing wrong with being laid back and observing what your next move is going to be. You don't be observing and watching your next move. I'm oh, just yes, asking. I do. Your thing is, you re you like to you like to react after. I like to act on before I have to react. Meaning, you wait. If I say, Mike, that chair the, is the um, leg is loose. You'll wait till the leg break off. I'm saying go ahead and screw it down. No, I wouldn't. At times. No, I wouldn't. I, that was just an example, but yes, you do. I will fix it when I get around to it. <laughs> That's what I mean. But it's it's no timer on fixing that leg. It is for the me. The chair ain't watching. going nowhere. But then, ain't nobody it does sit end in up it. going somewhere because I get mad and I throw it in the trash. Why? I'm about to Be fix it. Who knows when you're going to fix it? Ain't nobody going to sit in it. This marriage, it has really blessed me. I can really tell you. My family always say you were the best thing that happened to me. I disagree because I think God was the best thing. But on the same token, I think we 
I think we fit for each other because I always tell you, if it weren't for me, you probably would have AIDS because you were just a, a wild little goose oh. out. Yeah, that word. Yeah, you, you were wild. So you owe me. You owe me because I saved your life. No, I wouldn't say you saved my life. I would say you came into my life, but it you didn't save It was the best thing that me. came to your life. I was. I calmed you down. Um, no, you ain't calmed me down. Then why would you marry me? Let me ask you this. Go ahead. You had a gun. It was, um... <laughs> I still got one. Couple of... It was just my time to settle down. But why me? And you was it. I always tell you. <laughs> Be careful. What I always tell you, huh? That I was the best thing that happened no. <laughs> You like a fly in the bathroom that you can't get rid of. <laughs> I always say you that. No, and then come on, be real, be serious. Yeah, you do play like that. But tell me, why? Why did you marry me? I was eighty pounds, soaking wet. Black, skinny. <laughs> you know what? It's about to I change the <laughs> No, I think you said because. I don't even, I can't even remember. Okay. I must didn't say it then. Yeah, well tell me why. What? Why I marry you? Uh-huh. Like I said, it was time for me to settle down at the time. And we was already together for about a year. We wasn't really together together. We was, yeah, just say yeah. We were good yeah. friends, yeah. We were best friends yeah. at one time. And but my personality ain't changed. Well, you wasn't the way you are now, the way you were back then. I was still cuckoo. I mean, no, I'm not calling myself cuckoo, but... There, no, there you no, go. No, no, no. See? Think, cuckoo. I think, I think it was, for me, I slipped and fell. Like, I didn't want no boyfriend. I had just had some junk. So I think at the time, you know, God just worked it out. Um, then you were willing to go to church and... and Meet Pastor Young and everything, and here we are, 20 years later. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, so that was the best part, you know. And then the fact that I was willing to get married on your birthday. I don't know why I did that, because I short myself. <laughs> with, with the gifts? <laughs> now, I don't have a birthday. It's always our anniversary. It's not a birthday. You just don't celebrate it. Right, so I shorted myself. Yeah, you did. So my new birthday is August. <laughs> no, no, no. I thought we was going to change our wedding. I thought we was going to renew our vows in October. And so that way we can celebrate our marriage in October. Do something different. Oh, all right, cool. Our new wedding day is <laughs> October the 12th, then. <laughs> That's when we're going to renew our vows. Oh, all right, okay. Yeah, see? 20 years, right? 20 years. Hey. All right, cool. If you had to give someone advice about marriage, what would you tell them? Truthfully? Bam or no, tell them a damn lie. Yes, truthfully. All right, okay. Keep God first in your marriage. And fellas, if you marry the gang, <laughs> <laughs> listen to just half of the stuff they say, all right? And weed out the good stuff. Because they're going to come at you hard. See, men are defensive creatures by nature. And if you come at us wrong, our defensive wall goes up and we sort through what we need to address. I, and I that's how I'm, I got to deal with you. Because, which one of me? Right. So all y'all be coming <laughs> at me and after... Stop telling people that I'm cuckoo. Who I'm going to deal with at the time. I would give, if I had to give uh, someone advice, I would tell them mainly keep God in it. Honesty and humor is the best thing. Because no matter how much we get on each other's nerves, we tell each other. And I got to crack a joke, you know. I think humor keeps our marriage, yeah, yeah. you know, and the fact that we don't I let nobody that. in. <clears throat> like, we so damn secretive, it's crazy. Yeah. But that's good. 
because we've never had no outside influences or anything like that. You know, I trusted you to, you know, fly here and there with people, you know. But I always told you, if I ever find out you cheated or going to cheat or whatever, I told you I would kill you and be at the police station every day. Where the hell is my husband? Find my husband. Joe, I would do everything. I'm telling you. So you would want me dead? No. If you cheat on me, I would kill you. you I ain't gonna kill me. I don't want you to cheat. But if, if you, you do, me? 20 years, I'm, I'm telling then, you. Right? Huh? I'm gonna die then, right? Or you're gonna hang in the basement, like I always <laughs> told you. I hang you in the basement, and you know, you'll be like that. I feed you and everything, but uh, 20 years? Yeah, you took, as that song said, you took the best years of my life. <laughs> no. I don't that think, so I don't think I would give you a reason to cheat, you know. But if I do, I think you're man enough to walk away from me before you cheat, right? I've never given you. That's what I said. You never. The thought that I was. I mean the. Right. The. Get yeah. It yeah. The, um, <laughs> but I'm saying, you know I'm would saying. you be man enough to walk away, or would you cheat? Would you say, hey, this just not working? Would you just be a man? I think women, if you was going, if, if somebody's going to cheat on the marriage, instead of cheat, just be man enough. Okay, I'm leaving. This not working. Our, our son is grown. You know. Just well, walk away from me. Well, see, that sounds all fine and dandy, but sometimes you get the mindset of like, okay, I'm going to go cheat and see if I can get away with it and still keep her. See, if I cheat and she don't find out, you know, about it, I'm good on both sides. So is that what you would do? I never said that. I know, I know what you said, but I'm just telling you. The old me would. Yeah, I, I heard oh, about hell you. Yeah, the I, old I, me. I heard the stories about that the was old me. you. Yeah, the old me too. Be yeah, smiling that was me in your all face day. and yeah, that was both of us. So that's what I'm saying. But mm -hmm. now I'm telling you, after tw I've never been with somebody twenty years. I've been me with somebody either. four years. I never had a job for twenty years. <laughs> God damn, I had <laughs> one for what fifteen. Hey, you are a piece of work. <laughs> a good work, but. I think it would be best for you to walk away because I know one thing, I probably would end up killing you. Sorry, moms. Second, I know the kids would probably end up killing you. So you'll probably mm -hmm. be killed. Mm -hmm. Shoot. They wouldn't kill me. My, my, are you crazy? They might be mad at me and I would lose all their respect, but um, they wouldn't kill I'm me. I'm telling you, one now will be with me. Mom, what you want to do? Well, that sounds like a man's voice. No. No, you know which one to be willing to do it. No, he wouldn't kill me. I wasn't talking about him. I was talking about the oldest one. Would you kill me, champ? The no, oldest one. She the well, oldest one. She always there with her mama. No, she wouldn't kill me. She'd be mad at me and I would lose all respect. I, I think mean, you'd lose respect for, from everybody. Yeah, but yeah. but they, I thank Jesus that we wouldn't have to go through that. And I worked too hard to gain the respect of a whole Everybody. lot of people, so why would I mess that up? But, but most men do it for a piece of meat for what, I mean, you know. That's mainly because some men think with two heads and not one. You're right, and that. And that clash is there. Thank you. Yeah. Ability. See, Decision 20 years, making. I can finish your sentences. Um, let me ask you this. What type, when the girls get married, um, our daughters, would you want them to find a man more like you? Yes. What, a nonchalant? Don't matter. Okay, why? Tell me why. No, you tell me why. Why I would want them to find someone like you? Yeah. Um, I would say somewhat like Listen, you. girls. Somewhat like you because... Your eating habits, you only eat like five or six things. Don't no, 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 that, it does. Eat. That is important. When eating like this has got me to see 57 years so far. Yeah, but you, okay. I, I like would want that. them to find someone that will work hard, take care of their family, respect them, don't call them any type of derogatory names or anything. 
um, if I had my way, I would want them to find somebody that don't smoke or drink. And I think that plays a good part in our relationship, too, because neither one of us smoke or drink. Um, but I will. I will want them to find someone. Uh, because of how we raised them and, you know, they always been into style, I would want them to find somebody that can, you know, jive. Say it. Don't choke on it. Say it. Jive, you know, I guess dress well. Um, and respect their mother like you highly oh, respect your mama that's my heart. right right so i will want them to that's find somebody heart. like you you know yeah right. yeah now would you want your son to find somebody like me boy don't you dare <laughs> you ain't equipped for this <laughs> you gotta be a special kind of dude with deal with all these people <laughs> Libras, do y'all hear that? Oh my goodness. No, really. You went all up. You skipped it. You don't want him to find somebody like me? <laughs> <laughs> Why the hell do I I told you. Just you mean the all of y'all you or just the Twan. you that was at the altar with me? Yeah. The one that is at the altar, the one, oh, that's yeah, been, her, yeah. the one that's been with you for 20 years. If you could leave the other nine out for somewhere, i say marry someone just like you. Ooh, what's my best qualities? Not physical. I'm just saying. What's, what's the best thing that you like about me? The way you love me. It's always about you. Damn. What is our show, right? <laughs> the way I love you. Yeah. But you just, which one, me or the other nine? The one that's sitting here right now, her. That's, okay. No, see, you well, I told you this before. Your love for me reminds me of the way my mother loved my father. Oh, that, that's deep. That's yeah, deep. Yeah. That's real deep. That's real. Okay. Stop crying. Ain't nobody crying. <laughs> Damn, you done threw me off my game. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, all right, yeah. Your mother, your mother got true, true mad love for your father. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And pops just sit back and take it all in. Mm. And that's the way I am. I'm like my daddy. But I'm not too much like your mother, because your no. mother is real. She real, no. she a real sweetheart. You ain't as loud, I mean, you louder than she is. I have my family loud. Yeah, yeah. Yes, the Roscoe's up. <laughs> Roscoe, the mornings, whims, all of us loud. But I think that the thing that makes me feel comfortable with you and your best quality to me is the way you treat me. Like you treat me, like if, we're not going to say what you recently gave me, but you'll give me. What did I give you? We're not gonna tell oh, too much oh, 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 yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, I don't think the average man would have gave Damn that. Damn sure wouldn't. Right, right, right. And maybe in like the 10th or 11th episode, we'll let them know what it was, but. Uh, Damn but your sure father wouldn't. would have. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but the average husband and wife, he ain't giving up that. He ain't giving up that. So I think the way you you treat me, like, if you had a million dollars, I always told you, you would probably give me. Half. No, you won't. Then why you didn't give him nothing? Okay, you're right. You, no, I don't no, think. No, no. Here's what it is. If I want a million and you ain't know it. But you would tell it because you tell everything. Listen. Go ahead. If I want a million and you didn't know it, I would tell you I want like 700000 No, you wouldn't. And give you five. That way you got half and I got half. That has been proven oh, that no, you wouldn't. Trust me, the, I've done it before. Okay, see why I always keep a stash? <laughs> <laughs> see why your son put me in his uh, song? Moms always have a stash. Was, well. No, I don't, y'all. No, I don't. I'm just playing. Yes, you do. No, I don't. But, yeah, the way you treat me, the way the way you look out <clears> for me, um, no. You're just a good man. Well, see, um, um. That's what a man's supposed to do for a woman. Say that part again, so. No. In case somebody's marriage is having problems. Not for me, for oh, them. Oh. Tell them what? That's what a man's supposed to do for a woman. What? 
treat her like, <clears throat> make her feel as though if she goes somewhere else, she ain't going to get what she got. Yeah, that's what you always threaten me with. You always threaten me. Ain't nobody else going to treat you like me. Damn sure ain't. You right. But maybe they'll treat me better. But I don't know. I won't go out to see, but I'm happy. They I'm They're going to be there to hang around to find <laughs> out because y'all going to jump them. And if you ain't equipped to deal with a gang jump, you're you going to lose your dog on mine. You know you got the people out there thinking I really have all these people up in me. You do. <laughs> no, I don't. We, I'm a Libra. Libras are moody. When we don't want to be bothered, we don't want to be bothered. That's just a Libra. Like, if you ask any Libra, we sweet, we charming, we'll look out for you. But when we in our moves, but no. But I'm a Christian, too, so I... Our dog is just like that. Yeah, we do have a bipolar dog. <laughs> yes, we do. That dog. And daughter. One of our daughters like that. Mo she's a Libra. She's exactly. moody. Exactly. Ain't the thing about it with her, you know, sometimes you just got to sit back and laugh, you know. But she, you and her close, because me, two Libras <clears throat> usually, depending Clash. on what mood we in, yeah. Mm -hmm. But I understand her moody ways. Yeah, you should. But you yeah, you dance with got some too. Let me ask you this. When it comes to our family, not our, our, our um, immediate family, but, you know, sisters, cousins, and everything. Do you think they look at our marriage as like we inspire them? I'm hoping they are. I'm hoping they, hoping my girls would go out and find someone who has some of my qualities in the man that they pick, and I hope my son goes out and find someone who has most of your qualities. Why you always say all of yours but most of mine? See what I'm saying? I ain't say all of my qualities. You say your qualities. I said most of my qualities. Oh, most okay. of your qualities. Because, I mean, we ain't perfect. So, we like, if you had ten qualities, all of them ain't going to be good and all of them are not going to be good. Yeah, right? Those are I might have nine good qualities. And you might got six or something like that. Okay, let me ask you this. When we did the marriage seminar, um, would, would that be something that you would be interested in doing on a regular to help other marriage um, marriages, you know, basically give them tips, stay together, you know, just give them advice? Is that something that you would want to give more and you know, be marriage counselors as we was asked before, or would you be scared that too much openness in our marriage can lead to destruction? I don't mind being open at all, but the thing I would say, I will only do it if time permits. See, because right now, I work 12, 14 hours a day, then on the weekends, we're always doing something. Yeah, that's part of the entrepreneurship. Part. Yeah. yeah. It ain't one weekend when but we But just imagine nothing. us being able to help other couples, newly, I mean, yeah, newlyweds and those engaged and even marriage, you know. I think we have a strong marriage. Like, we play a lot and everything, but we'll talk, you know, we'll go to war for each other. Okay, you know? just have them watch Nikkei <laughs> TV <laughs> or YouTube, Periscope, and some more stuff. Right, right. But so you're telling me no because I was thinking about doing it, was asked a couple of times. The the constantly do the black seminar, the black marriage seminar. I mean we can do it again, but it's not gonna be a like a all the time type thing. Okay. Okay. We don't do too much. Okay. Okay. Now with our son and everything he's doing, um, you know, everything. Would you be, would you want him to stay in the DMV area and finish up or as a family go ahead and try to move down south to further his career? Well, who's to say his career will take off down south? See, it's a whole lot of rappers down there. He's not just a rapper. It's a whole lot of hip-hop artists down there 
doing the same thing that he's doing up here. So that's a no. So, one. He but don't, no, I'm, okay, let me ask you this. If we were to do that, and as you say, you but, take care of the family, let me. But I'm not saying he won't go down there and tell you. No, no, that. I'm saying, would you be willing to leave your good job to go down south? I'm, I'm speaking as the, the marriage part. To go down south, and if you had to flip some burgers while he get his career off the the ground, would you flip a burger? I would flip a burger, but I would have to be financially stable first. I wouldn't just go down there with no job, no home. Yeah, but McDonald's and Burger no King them nothing, always walking to McDonald's. Say, hey, I, just I want need to a see job. How much would you nah. do for your family? As far as if we wanted to, if he wanted to relocate, I would have to have things in order first. Of course, yeah. Like a home, a job lined up just in case. I got you. I got you. Well, anything else you want to ask me in this first episode of Black Love Conquers, Black Love Wins? Uh. You can't think of nothing? Yeah. Watch it. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, go ahead. You stupid. Um. Yeah, that's another thing. You know, most people, most <laughs> husbands have good pet, pet peeve names for their wife, Sugar Bear, um, stuff, <sighs> don't ever say that, um, lovely or whatever. I'm the only wife that got a nickname or, or pet pee name called stupid. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> well, what do you call someone who looking for their eyeglasses and they're right up on their head? Drunk, <laughs> but I don't They don't drink. drink or smoke and they're right up on their head. Hmm? What do you call that person? We're going to change that Stupid. pet peeve name. Okay. We're going to change that. Nah. If you can't call, I mean, but what was the question? What was I asking you? You don't mind being called stupid because you know I'm not really saying you stupid, stupid, I just know. doing stupid stuff. Yeah, at times, at times. But you can make some stupid mistakes, too. Like just now, and right here, you said that you were driving and you took the key. I told you I picked up the wrong set of keys. But you know your keys. I, I didn't look. How, how I just, the hell you picking? <laughs> I just grabbed some keys and went outside. An Ooh. honest mistake. It's only one key on that ring. Right. So how do you pick up the it's wrong one key, key on to both your rings. car? It's one key on both rings. Anyway. Well, actually, it's yours. What's mine? You just don't drive it. Okay. We're going to skip the subject on that yeah. because I don't like driving trucks. I like driving cars. But um, let That's me... That's why you drive your truck. I don't like driving trucks. I like driving a car. I can speed. Well, I don't speed. I can drive yes, you do. more. I drive comfortable with a car in, in a truck. But, you know, soon my son will be getting that car and I'll be getting another one. So it's all good. Then I might get a, a, a truck. Are you saving up for it? For your car? Someone, why? I got a husband. I got a husband. Why do I have to save up for I'm a sorry. car? I'm going to buy your car. Yeah, you did it before. No. Okay, so anyway, let's get back into this Black Love Conference, Black this. Love Merch. Let me ask you this. Okay. Do you feel a person should, before they get married and they date you, should they do the same things after they get married? Should they do the same things that they were doing before to get their man or woman? Of course. If, if that kept them there, yeah, but sometimes circumstances don't allow you to keep doing the same thing. Now, if you say... Um, uh, I'm like, what? As far as cooking? <laughs> <laughs> my son. Okay, well, let's talk about cooking. My son is 18 years old. He know how to cook for himself. He'll be 19 in a couple of days. Okay, and? I don't have to cook. I'm I'm too big. You know what? I was cooking real good when, I, when all three of the kids were younger. And they would eat, um, you know, the things that, you know, I cook. You don't eat spaghetti. You don't. Only thing you eat is pork chops, chicken. It has to be the breast of the chicken. It's right. Ham, but it can't be cold ham. It has to be fried ham. Um, no. No, no, no. You don't ham. eat. 
Okay, bacon, but it, it can't be like lunch meat cold. And bacon. It's cold. Yeah, I know. Those are the only things that you eat. No. Who the hell wants to eat that every day? A turkey. Oh, 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 yeah. A pork chops. I said pork chops. A and then, hamburgers. but this is what you do. I can say, my John, we're going to eat pork chops tonight. I might take the pork chops out. You come home, I'm in the mood for pancakes. Who the hell in the mood for pancakes at 8, 9 o'clock at night? Don't when you mean when I make Yesterday, we had chicken. What'd you say after we left the show? I want some Burger King. We just. There's chicken right there. I don't want no chicken. I, I want don't Burger eat King. wings. You know that. That's what I'm saying. You only eat the breast of chicken. That's the right. The rest of us don't eat like you. That's one thing that I would advise my daughters <laughs> to do. Find out what your mate eat. Find out how many things. You don't eat no vegetables. None. Never you, did. Who the hell goes through life <laughs> not eating vegetables? It got me to see 57 years of life so far. Okay, so that's why I can't cook for you because you only eat certain things. Oh, and hamburgers. Hold on, hold on. If I make, if I cook the hamburger, and if it's, oh, 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 if it's not a complete circle or a sausage, if it's not complete. Who eats a, <laughs> a damn hamburger ball? <laughs> Who the hell can eat that? No, you got, hold on. Can you put bread you, on this? The way you, <laughs> the way you, on, no, you eat funny. Here's even when, hold up, right even here. when somebody, even Here's when somebody make you a hamburger. a hamburger. Say we at a cookout or we have a cookout at the house and somebody make you a hamburger. You go right in the kitchen, cut the hamburger, you split it, and then you fry it again. Who does that? Because half the time is... No. And cook all Yes, it is. I like to burn my meat to kill all the germs. Okay, let me ask you. That's why I don't cook for you. You go, he got, you go to, why hold not? up, you go to McDonald's. You buy a sausage sandwich. I said, you're going to eat it now? No, no. I'm eat it when I get home. You right. go in the house, you slice it in half, and then you recook it. Why and, the hell do you choose? And why do I do that? Because at McDonald's, it's halfway cooked. Then why'd you even? So I can bring it home and recook it myself. <laughs> okay. That's I want a sausage why, sandwich. That's, that's why I don't cook for you. It's been real. I can't wait to see what we're gonna do for the next episode. We got some more time we ain't gonna wait yet. Anyway, that's why I don't cook for you. But I, I, I go to the store and get if it. If you love me the way you say you love me. You will learn my ways and try I to do, please my cooking ways. I do. My, my cooking appetite. I do. I go to the store. I buy the breast of chicken for you. I have it ready. Be you used out. to cook for me. You used to put things in the Washington newspaper about me. That one time. But it was good. I enjoyed it. That one time. And... and you you surprised me with the beans one time. So we all have done things That before. one time. Okay. <laughs> So, I mean, I would go back to cooking if that would keep our marriage strong, but we're never really in the house. You ain't going to cook for me. Keep it real. Okay, yeah, you're right. I'm going to keep making sure that the food is in the house and plenty of chips. We're going to talk about that on the ne next episode, how if there's no soda in the house, you won't eat nothing. Okay. So we're going we're gonna to discuss your eating habits. I drink juice. We're going to discuss your eating habits at our next episode. I just don't like We thank you all for tuning in to Black Love Conquers. Black Love Wins. And we hope that you learned something and enjoyed our show as well. See you next time. Love you, but most of all, love you. Of all, I love, love you, God. God. Thank you. <laughs>